Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, to, uh, today I come back from the field. Uh, I flew these two quads and I like to make a little introduction of these two machines and uh, discuss a bit about tr what we could call here a three inch toothpick inspired builds. Um, I use here two frames that are coming from Thingiverse. Uh, first one is a pickle three inch uh, light version uh, that I designed and uh, you can get on Thingiverse. I put the link in the in the description. Uh, that is a two S setup. This one um, is the Sanchez frame. It's designed by someone called David Cledon, uh, Dave C, uh, and is uh, available on Thingiverse as well. I really invite you to check his uh, designer's page and things uh, because he has a lot of great great designs um, in micros but also 5 inch frames, racing frames and stuff like that. Um, this one is a 3S setup. Uh, somehow build with parts that I have uh, left in stock, especially the motors. Um, this one, the one on the left, is an ultralight build. So I went to the, to the, with the idea to pick uh, a 3 inch frame, which 3 inch props, and make a build uh, trying to get the lowest weight possible and to, to keep the weight in the in what should be good for a for a normal 65 millimeter props toothpick build. So I remained on 2S batteries, uh, 450 milliamps, the one that I flew most of the time, um, and uh, 8,000 kV motors, 1103 from Beta FPV. An IO camera to keep low weight, uh, sa save some weight on canopy and uh, separate components, and Crossfire Nano RX. Props are from HQ Prop, uh, 3 inch uh, T style mount and uh, press fit hole. Both builds use the same props, so there is no, no difference here. Um, the Sanchez one use separate components, a Cadix EOS2, uh, TBS VTX, uh, Crossfire Nano VTX, and 1105 motors that are uh, 7500 um, kV. Uh, I, I bought those for a 2S setup, but uh, they are a bit uh, high in uh, kV in fact. And I have to you know, to put a, a throttle limit on the flight controller because uh, when it warms up, when you punch out this quad a bit too much, basically it stops working and drops from the sky. Uh, it, the, the the boards, the flight controller, and the AC are not toasted because it works uh, if you let it cool down, but it's not. A really good build, let's say, but it's reasonably light and uh, interesting to fly on 3S. Um, on this one, I use the this 3S battery that I that I have uh, around which is a 300 milliamps from Beta FPV uh, 3S. Um, so, just before showing you the flight footage of both uh, quads, uh, let's just wait uh, with them up. To see the difference. Uh, consider that this one is heavier because it uses heavier motors. Uh, it uses somehow a bit slight, slightly, slightly heavier uh, flight electronics. But the two frames are about the same weight, uh, around seven grams. Uh, both are two millimeters thick. Um, so basically, the the only thing that plays on on these builds is the weight. Uh, which is uh, which is different. So uh, first, let's start with the Sanchez. Um, okay, so the scale is uh, zero. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Dry build comes out at if you can see. No, it's not good because 
the pigtail is on the, isn't on the scale. Uh, it's uh, 61.36. If I add the battery, it goes to I don't I don't know. Maybe you can see here because on the battery isn't on focus. 87.4 grams. So this one is the heaviest, almost 90 grams, but a bit less. So now the pickle frame with the pigtail on the scale as well so dry weight is 49.5 uh, there is 11 11 almost 12 grams difference in the two builds and the battery is 77.73 grams so um, with those props uh, not the one I started to test uh, it's a bit heavier, was uh, 46 gram builds with the uh, G-Trello drill props but those are crap so I don't, uh, I prefer not to use them and use the similar props on both, both squats <coughs> if you notice this one is a bit heavier that what should be the best weight for a toothpick uh, which seems to be uh, maximum 70, 73 grams on 65 millimeter props. We are a bit off. We are three, four grams, four grams, almost five grams off. But uh, the results are interesting. Let's see the the flight video.
So uh, now that you see the flight footage of both, um, you maybe notice that both quads are quite poorly tuned. I'm not a great, a great uh, tuner, pit tuner, and stuff like that. I try to do my best to, to get correct flights on, on both of these setups. Um, this one uh, is tuned like uh, like a toothpick uh, style machine, it's about same pits, but yeah, I have to, to change them a bit. And um, this one have, uh, I think, too much degain, it shakes quite more than this one. Um, in terms of flight characteristics, I prefer the pickle one. Um, both fly quite similarly, uh, if you noticed, both have some kind of power feeling when you're on the throttle. Uh, but this one being lighter uh, feels, to my opinion, uh, more interesting when in terms of uh, of, uh, of piloting of playing with it is very agile, very light. You can do whatever you want. But it have one drawback, to my opinion, um, is that it lacks of top end power. Basically, when you recover from a from a, a dive or whatever you want, and you try to gain altitude very fast, it's kind of lacks of punch uh, when you pull the throttle at the at one hundred percent. It doesn't go in the air like this one. This one is way more powerful. Um, but this one being lighter, in fact, you have a very nice feeling, uh, flight feeling. So, to my opinion, both are very good, uh, very good builds. This one has some defects, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, this one also, because the camera is just crap, I have to, to find a, a, a better one for, uh, for, uh, for him. But if you, um, for instance, already have a lot of 2S batteries, um, 2S builds and setup and things like that, if you want to try a n something new, in fact, uh, because there will be some craze around a toothpick uh, 3 inch or stuff like this, you can do it even on 2S with exi existing gear. All you have to do is to to keep it very low weight, similar to a toothpick, and use your same batteries or even smaller ones to, 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 to stay at 70 grams. And uh, same motor, same everything, and just send it. It will work fantastically. It will just work fantastically. Um, at least it was tr tried. Uh, tried by yourself. It's really fantastic. I I love the feel you have when you fly because basically on both on both builds, when you when you punch out very strong, basically you have the feeling that the quad is just teleport teleportating where you want it to be. In fact, so it, it's quite crazy. In fact, as a as a feeling. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you like this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can and if you if you want if you whatever you <laughs> you feel and see you next time on this channel. Um, bye bye.